quite greedy three days. Now, there'll be times when you make models that you get a commission for something that you've never heard of, and that's happened to me. I've been asked to make Jack Skellington or uh, something from the Nightmare Before Christmas, and this is what I've made today. Uh, I'll show you the, the making process and how I've done it. Uh, not my cup of tea, not the thing I would normally do, but uh, I'll show you how I made it, and uh, let's see the making process. If you like what you see, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be priming everything up and my usual primer is the black primer from Army Paint, just the airbrush primer and uh, I found it a really good bit of kit, it does really good coverage and I'm using my uh, Iowata airbrush to get that black on there and uh, get it nice and uh, leveled all over. Um, you can get any of these stuff that you see in the video today, all the paints and anything you can see me using on my in my description. I am an Amazon affiliate and if you need to buy some stuff and you buy it from the channel a little bit will come back to the channel and that would really be appreciated so there we go I've pretty much primed everything with that black and I'm gonna go on to the Archangel red now and give this pumpkin its first layer I have never ever painted a pumpkin uh, I can't say that again can I and um, it's gone on really well actually and I think the color has come out really good I'm just gonna use some incursion orange over the top and I'm just gonna uh, as you can see give it some shading and give it some light effects as i say never done a pumpkin before didn't really know how to do it just used my eye picked the colors and i'm using colors from the army painter mega set and um, i'm really pleased how it's come out I'm, uh, I'm i'm chuffed to be honest after that layer of black and the orange it's come out magnificently now using some abysmal black i'm just going to uh, give old jack skellington a little bit of a touching up and i'm going to get all the bits that uh, that I, I spray painted white i put some masking tape on him and sprayed white just to get his head nice and, and even uh, and now that that masking tape's off i'm just going to do some touching up now his eyes are black so i'm using a really small brush and and really carefully i'm just going over his eyes now this was a fiddly model um there's lots of little bits to it and there's lots of intricate bits more so than I thought, uh, especially this bit now, his smile. This uh, this took me a while to do, I've got to be honest. I, I used the smallest, narrowest brush I've got, a hint of black paint, and uh, voila, we've given him his smile, and now we're going to give him his little rod stitched on teeth. I'm not sure what they are, but there they go. They're going on wonderfully, and I'm chuffed again how his smile's come out. Little uh, black dots into his nostrils. Uh, two of those again, the tiniest little dots and the tiniest brush, and they're done. And uh, there's his little face, and um, I quite like that. Must watch it on the telly at some stage. Right now, on to the base itself, and I've done a quite a bit of work on this base. It's had its matte black, obviously, and I'm just using a little bit of uh, green skin to go over the leaves. Now, I did quite a bit of work on the leaves, they've had two coats of green skin, and then I allowed them to dry thoroughly and I wasn't overly impressed with the colour that they came out so I've done a little bit more work on them. Um, going on to his hands, I gave his hands a base coat of white and then I used some of this pallid bone speed paint to give him his bony hand colour and I think you'll agree that the hands have come out really really lovely. So base coat of white just to give the speed paint something to grip onto and uh, there we go his hands now look skeletony bony colour. Wonderful. Using speed paints, and I said I wasn't too happy with that green, I'm using some orc skin and I'm going to go over the green with that. Now this uh, army, this, this um, speed paint, this green speed paint from Army Painter has given a lovely coverage, absolutely lovely. The only thing it didn't do, which is what I really hoped it would, is giving it a little bit of a darker element. So I did use some green wash after the Army Painter speed paint on here, but I don't think I caught that on video. So it has had a dark wash as well and that really did the trick uh, so about five layers in total on there there's a little prezi on there that's just had some pure red paint uh, i've had about three layers of that on there and there's also a little maggoty caterpillary thing so i've painted him in some lava orange a few layers of that just using this really light green from vallejo i'm going to dry brush now on top of the green wash 
just to give it a bit of a highlight and um, by doing that now by doing all these layers on the base I'm, I'm really pleased with how it's come out now there's some lovely uh, definition in the color of it shining silver was used to just give the uh, parcel a little bit of its wrapping and I gave it a couple of layers of the silver as you can see there it's uh, it's going on on its first layer there but it just set the Prezi off uh, really really well lots of little bits on this model and uh, I've got to be honest I really did enjoy making it. it's quite nice just popping colors on and doing something that you're not used to doing and it really does make you think and and work a little bit harder there's a little maggoty thing on here as well and I've done him in a like a lava orange and then what I've done is I've took a fine pen with some uh, part fine paintbrush with some green on and I've popped some lines in and, and that's it it's all done see what you think mm -hmm. 